Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. I was just writing a book about the Canadian Senate, how it should be run. Would you like to hear about it? Oh, well, I'll tell you anyways. You know, Canada has a pretty good system. We currently have an intermediate body established between the subjects and the sovereign for the mutual communication that charged the execution of laws and preservation. We also... You don't seem to be getting this, do you? You know what? Let me start fresh, with the basics. Canada has a bicameral system, which means we have an upper chamber and a lower chamber. Now, the House of Commons is the lower chamber, and in the House of Commons, we, the people, send representatives through an electoral process to go and represent us, the people, in the Parliament to make sure that we have Canada operate the way we want it to. The upper chamber, known as the Senate, are the fact-checkers of the House of Commons. So, if a bill gets passed in the House of Commons, it goes to the Senate. The Senate discusses whether it is reasonable or not, and then if they decide it's not, then they send it back to the House of Commons or trash it all together. Now, I'm not saying the Senate is a bad thing. I actually think it's pretty good, except for there's one real big difference that I see in the House of Commons from the Senate. In the House of Commons, we actually send the people to represent us. In the Senate, they're appointed. Does it really make sense that people that are not chosen by the people are representing the people? The House of Commons is kind of like the people's baby. When we're ready, we decide we're going to have a baby. And so when we have our election, and we have our baby. Now, we want our baby to do certain things the way that it should be done. We want it to spend money properly. We want our child to be raised properly. Now, the Senate is like this annoying friend that never seems to go away. Our child is trying to do something for us, make a gift. So once he's done, he just asks the Senate if it's good or not, if it needs any work. His friend, the Senate, decides that this thing is not so great. So he changes it up a little and sends it back. Who is the Senate to decide what's good for us or not? We have no idea who they are. The Senate is comprised of non-elected members appointed by the PM. So much for the government being in control of the people. Shouldn't the, all of the government be controlled by the people? Otherwise it'd just be a useless waste of time, because there's a disconnection between the people and the government. After all this, you might be asking, how does one become a senator? Well, you got to have at least three things. You need to be, one, a Canadian citizen, Two, you have to be a resident in one of your provinces or territories that you represent. And three, you have to own property. At least $4,000 worth of property. Wait a minute. Did I hear myself right? You have to own property? What is this, ancient Rome? Why do you get to be a senator based on property? It's not like owning something makes you smarter or a more decent person. Actually, that just cuts out a whole population that can't become a senator. It's like saying, sorry little Jimmy, you lost the biological lottery. You don't get to become a senator because you and your family don't own any property. Better luck next time, champ. The legislature belongs to the people and not to a bunch of some unelected freeloaders. The senator is just an extension of the bureaucracy. It's like finding wasted food. You don't want to eat it because it's gross and it's bad and it's a waste of money. Senators are supposed to be public servants to us, right? then how come I'm ending up being more of a servant to it than it is to me? They're supposed to protect me from abuse from the House of Commons, but really they're abusing me. We have to pay for their $135,000 salary every year, which comes out to $1.61 per person, which is not fair. See, I don't mind paying the $4 for every member of parliament and 8 to $10 for every member of provincial parliament, because they're actually doing something. I want them to be there, and I put them there.